Okay, so basically today I had like a birthday party that I went to, so I am wearing makeup right now. But I'm gonna do the Vogue Beauty Secrets, and I'm gonna take it all off and do my morning skincare and my morning makeup routine. So, at this birthday party, I also got given some presents because my birthday is six days away from the birthday girl, and I'm not gonna see them. So, the cleanser that I'm gonna use is this Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. It's so gentle. It was from a good friend of mine, and yeah, I'm gonna just wash my face. Okay, now I'm all clean. Literally, it's such a soft cleanser. My face doesn't feel like dry or crackly at all. Okay, next. Is that this makeup bag like the most elegant thing? Okay. So, I have the worst skin. It's so sensitive and so terrible. So I had this from the dermatologist to just help me with acne because I struggle with that. So I'm gonna put some on my chin because that's where I get acne a lot. I think that's like a stress thing. And recently I've been getting it on my cheeks as well. Kinda stings. <laughs> it's called clindamycin gel. I you're struggling with acne or like weird skin, honestly, just go to the dermatologist. It, it really makes a difference. Okay. Now, use this. It's called polyglutamic acid by the Inky List. It's like a hydrating barrier for your skin. It also helps makeup look nicer. So I'm just gonna put that all over. And basically, I love moisturizer because I have really dry skin. So I kind of switch my moisturizer almost every day, depending on what I'm feeling. But today, I'm gonna use the CeraVe moisturizer. So that's this one, the Daily Moisturizing Lotion. It's such like a basic moisturizer. Nothing too fancy, but it definitely like gives you what you need. Okay. I always do this in the morning to just help me depuff. And if I don't have a gua sha, I do have a gua sha and I like to do that at night. But if I don't have one with me, it almost feels like I'm doing it. Okay. Now, this was another birthday present, but I'm really excited to use it. I'm going to use this Glossier Future Dew because I'm really into that whole dewy makeup. I mean, who isn't? So I'm gonna just do that much. And I'm gonna apply it to the high points of my face. Can you see that? That's so pretty. I'm moving a little to my forehead because I get a really dry forehead. I feel like most people get an oily forehead, but I gotta try one. I totally forgot to mention this because I just put it on, but after moisturizer, I always use SPF. I love the Super Goop one. As you can see, I really like Glossier, but next I'm gonna use this stretch concealer. I feel like a lot of concealers kind of leave you with like this starchy dry coverage, but this one is just so dewy. As you can see, I've used a lot. And I use the shade G11, which I think is the second to lightest shade. And it seems like they have a pretty good shade range. So I'm just gonna cover any blemishes and problem areas. Okay, and then blend. Okay. All blended. My next step is going to be eyebrows. This is the Kosas Airbrow in clear. Um, I like to brush them up, but not straight up, kind of at a diagonal because I know big, like upward facing fluffy brows are super trendy right now, but I just feel like ones that stick straight up don't really suit me, so I kind of go like that way. I don't know. That's just me though. And then I'm going to curl my eyelashes because I always feel weird having like my brows done but my lashes flat. So I don't even, this curler like came from the CVS like 
three years ago and it's not very good. Okay, that's all I do because I'm scared to rip out my eyelashes. If you see this, this is actually like, I don't pick my lip or anything, but this is a scar I got when I was like six or seven, I fell off my scooter into the road and ever since then I've had this little lip tattoo. Okay. I'm gonna apply this Glossier Mascara to like separate and darken my lashes. Hi, this is really up close and personal. Do you like my pimple? Next, I'm gonna use this cloud paint in Puff. It's been my favorite recently, but um, I also love the Rare Beauty melting blushes. Um, I don't really like their liquid blush because it's just too intense for me, but their melting blushes leave such a natural finish and such a wash of color that makes me feel so beautiful. Let's blush. This is like my go-to petal blush. I think blush is a girl's best friend because um, who doesn't want to feel youthful and sun-kissed and windswept? And I just feel like it brings the color and like life back into your face. Also, I like to put it on my eyelids because I don't really wear eyeshadow, but if you put it on your eyelids and you match it to your cheeks, it makes you look like so flushed in the prettiest way. So I really recommend that. I think, I think it's like one of my biggest tips. Okay, now that we're all blushed, I'm going to put on some lip I use this um, Paw Paw Papaya lip balm. It literally smells like Hawaii. Um, and if I use this, I never have chapped lips. See? <laughs> okay. I feel like. Lipstick is probably the most important part of my makeup routine. I feel like I don't feel ready to go out of the house without a lip color on. So I have many, many, many lipsticks and I just, I wear whichever one I'm just vibing with at that current moment. And right now I'm really into like a cherry stain and this is the Joa Tinted Lip Balm from CVS. Gotta love it. Like, how pretty. Okay. It's like a washed out red, and I think that's so classic and so flattering. And you can even take a little on your cheeks. Beauty is such an important part, I think, of being a woman or female presenting in this society because, you know, there are such intense beauty standards placed on us. But I feel like if you do the, your makeup the way you want to do it, it's almost like taking it back for yourself and making yourself look the way you want to look. And of course, there's things we do like concealer, for example, that is brightening our face and taking away our acne, which is maybe to fit into that beauty standard. But if you choose your lip color and your blush color, I mean, you're painting your face in pinks and reds and different colors, and I feel like that's the fun part of makeup. Okay. I think another really important part of me feeling presentable is to know that I smell nice. And so my signature scent is Misty War Rose and Roses. I'm not gonna put it on though, because I'm already wearing some and I don't wanna be very overpowering. But my friend also got me 
this like jasmine it's just like one note of jasmine perfume because i love jasmine and i'm so excited to wear that one too to finish it off i know that these like sprays don't really do anything for your skin or for your makeup and maybe they're not even that good for you but i feel so luxurious when i can just touch up with a little rose water and so i'm not going to put it straight on my face but just going to mist myself And so that is my beauty tips for you.